Sup guys, let's do this. What is up you guys, Claro back again with another Ruby reaction and this time we have chapter 7, uh, Punished. Um, man, it feels like it's been a while since I watched Ruby because I uh, I didn't watch it on uh, Rooster Teeth, uh, on the Rooster Teeth page and recorded my reaction. I just waited until it dropped on YouTube. It dropped yesterday on New Year's Eve, but I didn't watch it then, so I'm watching it today. Yesterday you had the top 10 list, I think. Yeah, the top 10 list of uh, my favorite movies of the year, so if you haven't watched that, you can check it out. I'm gonna leave the link in the description to that one. Um, also, as I say, it's a new year, man. Feels, uh, feels good. Um, I'm looking forward to some more Ruby. Uh, some great trailers, some anime related stuff, some music related stuff, so you can expect a lot of cool stuff uh, during 2017. Man, the year passed uh, quicker than I anticipated, it, it felt like it anyway. Uh, I've received a lot of love, a lot of support, so thank you guys for that. And uh, yeah, man, without further ado, let's do this shit. Pop! All right. So. Oscar, oh. supper's almost ready. What are we having? Doesn't matter. You're eating it. <clears throat> I never agreed to these terms. It's part of the living under my roof contract. Read the fine print and come wash up. Okay. Could it be his mom? We have to leave. Aspen. Oscar. Oscar. I've decided you're not real, so you might as well just give up. I understand how you're feeling. I went through the same panic and confusion. Really? It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. I can assure you, you were perfectly safe. I'm talking to a voice in my head. I didn't say you were normal. I said you were safe. There's quite a significant difference. Shut between... up! You think this is funny? It's not. We are in complete agreement on that matter, I promise you. Believe me, I wish this weren't the case. As I've told you, our aura, our souls, are combined. Really? I'm done listening to you. Okay, so I'm Ospin is dead. I told you I'm not going, what, what? and I told you I'm done listening. Do you think you could describe the Headmaster's office? Oh. No, why would I know that? I've never seen... I'll try. Right now. It's probably... That's... That's Sodom colored. With a large mahogany desk. There's a small table and chairs in the corner for guests. With a tea set that... I... I gave him. Why did I say that? Why do I know that? Why did I say that? Because I helped build that school. And the tea set was a gift to the man running it now. If you don't believe me, you can look it up. If I recall, your aunt has several books on Mistral downstairs. Oh, his aunt. You could find a picture in one of them. That, that's right. I must have seen it in a picture. Oscar. Stop talking to me! I have a grave responsibility to uphold. We both do. We never agreed to anything. Okay, so no, Ospin dies. And neither did I at first. But he lingers on. We do have an opportunity. For what? Greatness, hopefully. 
greatness in knowing that when the world needed help, you were the one to reach out your hand. It won't come without hardship, without sacrifice. But I know you don't want to live the rest of your life working as a farmhand in Misrule. So you just decided to read my thoughts? I... Well... They're our thoughts, now. Get out of my head! Huh. Oscar! Supper time! <sighs> what the hell, man? Alright, so Ospin is dead. He just lingers on. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Do you have any idea what your stunt cost us? I... And don't think I'm just talking about Lien here. Oh our my reputation. God. Our... Our... I want to leave. I beg your pardon? I said I want to leave. I don't want to stay here anymore. I don't want to stay in Alice anymore. Young lady, I don't give a damn about what you want. Ooh. This isn't about you. This is about the Schnee family name and your apparent insistence on dragging it through the mud. I have done nothing but fight to uphold the honor of my family name. A name that you married into. Ah! Yo! This behavior of yours is incredibly disappointing. You couldn't possibly understand the lengths I've gone to in order to keep this family where it is. You think running off like your sister is going to make the Schnee name stronger? You're wrong. Siding with her only divides us. I'm not siding with anyone. I'm doing what I feel is right, and that does not include wasting my time up here with these clueless people in Atlas. The huh. Schnee family legacy isn't yours to leave. It's mine. And I'll do it as a huntress. No, you won't. Hmm? You're not leaving Atlas. You're not to leave the manor grounds unless I specifically allow it. You are going to remain here, out of sight and out of trouble, until you and I come to an agreement on your future. What? Your presupposition that you can simply have whatever it is you want is a clear sign of our failure as parents. But from now on, I'll be giving you the full attention you require, starting by keeping you where I can see you. Like a you prisoner? You can't just keep me from leaving. I can, and the staff here will make sure of it. So now I'm just your prisoner? You are my daughter. You're a child. And children are grounded when they misbehave. This is only going to make things worse, Father. People will ask questions. They'll want to know why the heiress to the Schnee Dust Company is suddenly nowhere to be found. Which is why you are no longer the heiress to the Schnee Dust Company. <gasps> Her brother! Excuse me? Clearly, the trauma you endured at the fall of Beacon was too much for you. Which is why you've generously revoked your claim. Motherfucker! Your earnings, passed them on to your brother Whitley. I knew it! I knew something it's was off with that little fucking cunt. Reality. Oh, he knew all along. What a little motherfucker. Whitley? Yes, sister? Did you know about this? About what? You never liked Winter. You never liked me. But you've been nothing but supportive since the moment I came back. If being kind to my big sister is some sort of crime, then I suppose I'm guilty. You wanted this to happen. It's foolish not to do as father asks. I can't believe you. Don't worry, Weiss. The Schnee family name is in good hands. 
<laughs> Where's her mother in all this? I don't understand. Where is she? I, I don't get it. Well... Just jump out the window and get the fuck out. Maybe, I think maybe, like, uh, the butler, what was his name? Klein or something like that? Maybe he'll help her uh, escape. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Shit, I totally I forgot. And breathe, Crow Bronwyn. <laughs> A true huntsman has entered the fray. I don't know. This guy's weird. <laughs> yes. Look, pal, I'm not sure who you are, but you need to leave my niece alone. <laughs> Why, friend, my name is Tyrion, and I'm afraid that is not possible. My assignment from her grace was to retrieve this young girl. Oh, that is what I must do. One does not upset the queen. Queen? Salem. Who? <laughs> I think we've had enough talk now, don't you? You took the words right out of me. This looks pretty nice. <laughs> Liking this. That's the way to do it. Man, look at Crow, he's such a badass. Get out the way, you're in the way. No, it's not that. It's <laughs> uh. 
Fucking knew it. <laughs> he goes in for the rescue and then the other guy explodes. Ah! What? <laughs> well, that's kind of nice though. You bitch! Really? Rooster teeth! Bitch, huh? Alright. Yeah, he's a fucking scorpion. Are you okay? His dagger is poisonous. Help me find. He just grazed me. Who was that guy? How did you get here? Why are people after Ruby? Not a question, Rose? guys. What's going on? A lot of questions. What's your favorite fairy tale? What? Who? Man, great episode. What the hell, man? What's going to happen to Crow now? Huh. Thoughts. Yeah, guys. Man, um, what's gonna happen to Crow now? Um, just a scratch. I'm not so sure about that. I mean, uh, was a scorpion. Normally, those guys are uh, those animals are venomous, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, what's up with what's up with the shifting of the eyes? Did any anybody else catch that? He has yellow eyes and then he has purple eyes. I don't know why, but that's kind of the deal. It seems with him. Ruby just got in the way, basically. That's kind of what happened there. Crow didn't want them to get involved. Not because... Not only because they, 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 they could get hurt, but also because they, they're like a distraction. That he has to kind of take care of them also, instead of just minding. Man, they just got in the way. That was kind of messed up. That it. Cool stuff that she cut off his tail, though. Uh, but what's gonna happen to Crow now? Uh, we don't know. He says it's only a scratch, but I mean, if it's venom in there, maybe he he could uh, paralyze him or leave him. Vulnerable, I guess, or maybe I don't know some magic to it. Maybe take over, like I don't know. Feels weird. I didn't really like that, not at all. Uh, regarding Vice, that's kind of unfortunate. Her dad is a fucking douche. We knew that already, but her little brother. Now it kind of, it kind of. Um, Proves what I've been thinking about him all the time. I, 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 you know, I mentioned this pretty early on that he seemed pretty sketchy, and uh, something was off with him. And now we see that uh, I don't think he planned this, but he he didn't oppose it really. He was kind of like in for it. Um, so he's the next heir of the Schnee family name or company or whatever you wanna. Anyway, uh, I, I, I think that Y should just, you know, pack her shit and get the fuck out. I mean, it's, it shouldn't really be that difficult for her, honestly, to just jump out the window or some shit like that. Um, also, I believe that the butler, uh, what was his name? Klein, I believe. Uh, he, he, he could help her out, I think. He seems to have... Uh, he seems to like her, and, and I think he could help her if she wanted to escape. I think Klein was his name. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. I know that he's based off the Seven Dwarfs or something like that. His eye color ch change for each character, I guess, or something like that. I, I read something about that. Also, uh, uh, in, um, in the beginning of the episode, we meet Oscar. Oscar is having conversations with Crow now in his head, and it feels like okay. So, so Crow is dead, as I said during the episode. He's dead, 
but he still lingers on in Oscar's mind, I guess, or body or something. Not only mind, because if it were body, then he will be able to control him, but he can't, I think. And it's it's only a matter of time uh, before uh, Ospin gives Oscar enough evidence or convince him uh, to, uh, I guess, take off and, and, I don't know, join up with... I don't, know, I don't know who, I don't know what's going to happen there. Uh, anyway, interesting stuff and uh, a very good episode. Um, it's the 1st of January today and uh, I believe we have another episode out already. I'm gonna do a reaction to that next week, I think. So, uh, you can keep your eyes out for that one. Um, this was a great episode. Guys, uh, as always, uh, take care. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this. I'm going to leave the link in the description. Happy New Year. Take care out there. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.